everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how I've made this really fun, very festive penguin wine bottle holder or gift bag. So you can see there, it is an empty bottle, but it's very strong. It will hold a full bottle, but I'll just um, use this one just so you can see kind of the height and everything, how it all kind of, you know, fits inside there. It's, um, it's really, really fun. Now this is using a cut file, so this is actually using my uh, digital cutting machine because I know many of you have your Cricut and your Brother Scan and Cut and your Silhouette machines. So I have the USB from Trimcraft and it is the first edition Buildable Christmas and I will share the links to this one below. It's really really fun to make. I'll give you the measurements of what I increased it to and I'm going to show you just how I've put it all together. But of course if you don't have something like this then you can you know look at other things that you might have and obviously other files that you also might have. But if you don't have any you know cutting machines you can make the piece that I'm going to show you inside and build up something else on the outside so you know think of, think outside the box think of other things that you might already have in your stash um, that you can use this you might already have maybe some kind of decorative piece of paper or some shape or something that you could stick onto it I don't know but you know there are other ways around it but he's very very sweet I've used some of the iridescent artificial snow there on the hat just so it's, it's got a bit of texture. I put some glitter on the bow there and I just think it looks lovely. I've also reinforced the sides there with some, with well a couple of um, uh, eyelets and it's, it is, it's super strong. The back is just the same. I have added the feet but I've kept it blank but it's the same silhouette um, kind of effect there and yeah love it really really good so I'm going to make another one now and show you how to put it together. Okay, so these are all the elements that I've cut on my machine. I've also got some ribbon there um, for later on. So once you obviously upload your file, you want to increase it, if you do have this one, because I know some of you do, to 11 inches, okay? And once you increase this, you know, this piece, everything else will increase with it. So, you know, you know that you're going to have all your proportions correct. So I have gone ahead and done this one first. So that's the, the main detail. Then I went, and so I've done that on black card, then I went and cut just the outline on white and that's gonna stick over the top of this one here. And they will all line up perfectly, like so. Then I went ahead and I cut another two of the white and I've stuck them together using my Kalau. So this is a very strong piece now because obviously we are putting something heavy in it. You don't have to put the wine bottle in there. It could be any bottle. It might be a nice bottle of olive oil or something like that. So many things can be popped inside. So those will be stuck together. Then I went ahead and cut the hat and I've cut two. I've done two of pretty much everything just to add a bit of strength. So I've done two of those and stuck them on top of each other. There's your little snow pom-pom. Um, snow pom-pom, that's your little pom-pom. And uh, I've again die cut two. I've die cut just one of that one because I'm gonna be adding the snow over to it and that's mainly going to be stuck on the top of his head. But you can see there how that's going. I mean, I guess you could have it down like that so it looks like the, Thing, but I'd done a bit of a bobble hat, I think I thought it looked quite cute. Then I've got the candy cane here, so I've done the white for the background and then the detail in the red. Then I've done two of the little bow tie in the blue, just one little nose there which will perfectly piece back into what's already been cut out. So once I've stuck that onto the white, oh I've got it upside down, had it right the first way, it does fit in there perfectly. And then I've done four feet, two on the front and two on the back, again because it is actually holding itself up on the feet. So, you know, with that weight of that bottle, but it does, it works really, really well. But you can bring the feet up higher if you wanted to. So you could have them up like that. So it's resting more on the body, but I've brought mine right down like so. So that's everything I need. So I'm gonna stick it all together and then I'll talk you through how to do the inside box piece.
Okay, so I'm just about to stick down the other foot. So stick the front one down, you would have seen just however you want it. Then I've put the back piece just lying over the top and to make sure you get everything level and then just stick the feet on the back there. That way when I stand this up, once it's all together, it's not going to rock or anything like that, it's all going to be nice and even. Okay, so for the inside box you want two pieces that are four and this is the default A4 length, so it's 11 and 3 quarters. 12 inches will be fine or 11 will be fine. If it's 11 it just means it's just going to be slightly shorter and on this size you can get away with that extra quarter of an inch so you can use 12, it will still work okay. That's obviously, you know, I know not everybody's going to be doing the penguin but whatever you're doing that's the same kind of height as mine because actually I didn't, I've done the height of obviously the penguin but then you have the hat attached attached as well so you do end up getting an extra let's just have a little look what we're on here it's actually about 12 and a half tall so it is taller than in fact a wine bottle is exactly 12 and a half so yeah it's, it's going to work okay so with these two pieces here you want to score along the short side you want to score at half an inch and three and a half so it's going to have a three by three base that is just exactly what the bottom of a standard wine bottle is so if you do want it to be thicker then you will have to have this I guess maybe go to four and a half by the same lengths but then score at a quarter of an inch on both sides but it just give you that slightly wider side okay and then this along the long side you want to score at three but if you want it slightly bigger, then score at three and a half, okay? But um, to have that three by three base, which fits that wine in nicely, you don't want it shaking around too much and adding pressure and stuff, um, then that's a good size. So those two pieces score both the same. And then just fold and burnish all of the score lines. Also, all of the cardstock I've used is 300 GSM, or it's the Lidl cardstock, which is very, very thick as well. So it's a really, like I said, strong piece. Once that Kalau glue's on there as well, it's um, yeah, it will definitely hold. And if you are worried, maybe if you're using a lighter cardstock, reinforce the base here. That's the most important part, so it doesn't dip. Put a couple of layers of you know extra cardstock on the bottom there. So all you want to do here is just cut up these two score lines, just like so, just to free it up and just take a little wedge off of the top piece like so, you don't need to worry about it with the other one so it's just something kind of like that again just do this one here okay and what's going to happen is this is going to fold up we're going to stick the sides like so so we've got a nice right angle and we're going to do the same with that side but first of all in fact you can remove one on one of these remove these pieces here just on one Although if you do want to add even more strength, I guess you can keep two in, but it might just be a little bit bulky. I'm just going to remove that one there. Okay, so the one that we've just removed the pieces from will sit on top of that one. So first of all, I'm just going to add some glue onto the base of this one. Okay, so you'll have this long piece because it's going to come up like that and then the wine bottle will fit inside that piece and also when we go to stick it down it's very similar to how I've done a few of my other boxes but you can have that more you know as like a vase kind of shape so again that's another way to widen it but still keep that base because sometimes bottles might have some decorative kind of shape to them so although the base is that that size it might then go out thicker you know you can expand this if you want to as long as it all stays behind whatever it is that you're sticking it to but you would have noticed me use that if you follow a lot of my gift bags I've done that style before and it's quite a nice way to be able to make them fit your you know your needs and whatever it is you're wrapping so all I'm going to do here is just add a little bit of glue to the bottom because I want mine to just go you know nice and straight so I'm just going to stick my glue and then just pop those pieces down there just so we've got it you know as best you know as a right angle as you can once you stick all this bit down then you can shape it even more I'm just going to hold that in place for a second and then flip it over and just repeat and do the same Okay, so now we've got something like this. So I'm just going to pop that to one side and I'm just going to decorate the top here of the hat before I kind of, you know, put it all together because it's a bit easier to control all of the, um, the snowflakes that I'm going to add to it. So I'm just using some Tombow because it's a tacky glue. It will stick to, you know, everything, anything that kind of hits it is going to grab. So, and it will stay 
nice and tacky. So just try not to go over the edge because it will squash down a bit once I kind of push everything onto it. The glue will kind of spread out and do its thing. So I'm just going to add it all there and also on the little pom pom here. And then I've got my trusty bag of flakes. This just never seems to go down, and I've used it on so much, but I'm going to go in here, I'll be a bit lazy this time, and just push it all down. I got myself, well, I didn't get myself into a mess, but there was just flakes everywhere when I made the uh, Christmas Village. So, just push all that down. I can just shake away any excess. I'll brush off some of those pieces once it dries, but it does look really, really fun. There we go, I've just brushed some of it off his face and once it's completely dry, oh, I've just added more there. I didn't clean my brush very well. Okay, so that's that all covered. And then I will also, while it's nice and flat, I'm just gonna add some sparkle onto his little bow tie there. And it always goes on a bit darker, but once that dries, it will go back to that lighter turquoise color and then you can always top it up again as well. But once it starts to dry, you should pick up that sparkle there. It looks really nice. Like you, you could put something, you know, bling in the middle as well, but we'll keep it like that. So while that's just kind of drying, I'm going to work with the back first. So I'm going to run some, just thinking what glue, I think I'm going to stick with, no, I'm going to go for, because this grabs nice and quick, I'm going to go for the Cosmic Shimmer. I have got another one, but I want to get, I need to keep this in my thing upside down. I'm just going to run the glue all the way along this side, the other side and the base and just do one at a time. Just make sure you cover all of that. Again, if you want to add another panel of cardstock on here and then put glue on that and attach it to this, you can. But because of the glues I'm using, I know they're strong and I've already done one. I know it holds the wine. So what you want to do then is with your bottom, with the bottom, Bring it down so it sits nice and even with the bottom of, in my case, the bottom of his body there. And then just make sure it stays as straight as you can, really. But this is where I mean you could expand it out so it comes up to the sides here, but I don't need to. I'm just going to go in. There's my bone folder there. You've got a little bit of positioning time, repositioning time even with this glue. But like I said, it does bond pretty quick. And the cloud's good as well. If you kind of let it sit for a minute, then pull it apart and it goes all stringy and then instantly kind of push it back together again and it just bonds really strong. It's like a super glue kind of thing. So now we've got that one side there already. And then the front's pretty easy to do because you've got this to obviously push it against but now I'm just going to cover all this in glue as well. And with this one I'm just going to kind of sit it over the top. I can see that bit there. I'm just going to stand up and I'm just going to look down. I can use my monitor there. You just want to make sure that you get it kind of as lined up as possible really. Oh it's a bit out there. There we go. Okay, so now I've just got some of my brown. I'm use these blue stars actually because I think they look really nice. And then I've just got my punch here. And I'm going to pop it on its side and I'm just going to come in as far down as it will let me in the centre there and just punch. You don't have to worry if they're not exact on each side, it's not, you know, you're not going to notice that at all. And then again, punch that one. And then I'm going to feed these through. I'm not going to put any backs on them. I don't think I've got them off for these ones, actually. They'd be like a silver, but I'm not too worried. Again, pop them on there. And then I'm just going to squeeze these ones down. Okay, so there's my reinforced little holes there. And then I'm going to thread through my ribbon. And then I'm just tying three strong knots all on top of each other just to stop that coming through. And again on this one. Pull that all through and now you've got your 
very strong handle and I can pop this back in and there we have a really fun gift bag. You could pop a little kind of necklace around him with your gift tag hanging. I'm probably just going to have my gift tag hanging down the side here and I just I love it. It's so strong I promise you this is very very strong. As long as you've got the good weight card stocks to start with use good glues. I always say this is like cement in a bottle it's brilliant especially when you want to you know those heavier gifts so yeah really pleased with this one and um like I said, I don't do lots of cutting file tutorials just because not everybody has the machines, but then more and more people are getting the machines now and they are becoming very, very popular. And I do love them and they do make these really fun, very unique gifts because you can alter the sizes. So no, nobody's will ever really be the same. So I think these are really fun. And I've noticed that my candy canes are different. I don't know which is the right one, left or right. Is it that way or is it that way? Something's making me think that one but then that one looks okay as well. I don't know. Is there a right or wrong? <laughs> you tell me. Anyway, thank you for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed them. I hope you think they're quite sweet because I do. And um, I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.